Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2, and I'm out here in the garage finishing up a video on a range report on the SIG P365XL. I won't spoil it for you, but uh, it's okay. It ran good, but it's okay. But I wanted to come to you guys tonight to one, complain about something, and number two, I guess give you guys a little behind the scenes of why going to the range as a YouTube firearm content creator isn't as fun as it used to be. Well, first I'm going to complain about something. Something that I've complained about in the past. And normally I keep my mouth shut on things. Uh, I'm a pretty non-confrontational person. And today I was at the range filming the shooting portion for this gun. And if you've been following this channel for some time, you guys might remember a video I made about somebody that was completely obnoxious at the range. And what I mean by that, not unsafe. They were not unsafe. But they come in and they act like they know everything. And who knows? Maybe they do. Maybe they know everything. You don't have to tell me that. But they come in with their friends. They're talking so loud. I understand everyone's wearing, uh, is wearing earmuffs. And we're in here in protection. You don't have to scream, okay? You just don't have to scream and talk constantly. And then take your gun and all the time be doing... All the time. Just like, dude, I'm trying to shoot footage here. And the way that I do it at the range is usually I'm only shooting for about a minute at a time. So I will sometimes give myself a look at the camera. I'll give myself like a note saying what I want to talk about in that segment. And then I turn around and I shoot, whether it be, you know, the accuracy portion or the first shots or maybe like the, the defensive use. And then I might show the target. And then sometimes I'll turn around and just say a quick note to myself. I'll say, hey, uh, I'm pulling it to the left or whatever, just so when I go back into editing, I can remember to make that note. And it usually only lasts about a minute. OK, and, that, and that's all it is. And then I'll have five minutes of downtime as I'm loading magazines or changing targets out or whatever. And people seem to be so inconsiderate. I mean, they see what I'm doing, okay? And I know it's only going to last 30 seconds to a minute. That, that's it. But nope, they're going to talk real loud. And they're going to be racking their gun, making all this noise. In fact, you know, as I said, I'm not going to say anything at, at the range. I kind of look over at them and go... Kind of roll my eyes. But I don't know. It's it, I want to think that I am more self-aware than that. That if I see somebody doing something like that, I'm not there to show off. Okay, I'm going to let them do it. You know, And a lot of times when I'm at the range, if I see somebody either filming or they're doing something very specific that you can tell that they're setting up for, um, I'm always like, hey, do you mind if I do this? Yeah, I'm about to shoot this footage. Can I... Um, go ahead and do this while you're setting up or if they're doing something I'll always kind of step back and so I don't interrupt them because I want the range to be productive for everybody and some people are just completely ignorant of it and so when you see this range report I did my best to edit out as much of it as I could but when you see the shooting portion of this range report you're going to hear this guy talking in the background the entire time and trust me I had to cut out a lot of stuff and I used all of the audio editing tools that I could to try to make it as little as possible. And even when I was giving myself notes, you know, I would turn around to the camera and I'm this close to the camera and he's on the other side of the range. You still hear him louder than I do. So I'm a member of a Facebook group for the Frisco Gun Club, or I should say was a member of, the, of this group. And normally I don't say anything. I just said, I'm just non-confrontational. But man, I went on there tonight and I said, listen, I know who in this group it is, but I'm not going to use a name. I, I never used the name, never said anything about, you know, didn't say anything bad about them beyond just they were inconsiderate. Don't use their name to publicly humiliate them or start a fight or, you know, point it out. And I just said, hey, you know, when you're at the range and somebody is filming, you know, you really, really need to be considerate. Just think of other people, you know, don't be a jerk. And I just left the Facebook group because I, I, I don't know, I, I get frustrated with that kind of stuff. You know, that's kind of the famous INTJ door slam, if you know about my uh, personality type. 
And that was it. So I got frustrated with that. And then it kind of reminded me of why, as a firearms YouTuber, I don't enjoy the range as much. I want to. But every time I go to the range, it's because I'm having to do something. And it kind of takes the fun out of it. You know, I can never waste a range trip. Every time I go to the range, I can't waste a range trip. I have to get something on camera. I have to get something done. Because if I go there and don't film anything, well, I've wasted ammo, I've wasted time that could have been towards creating more content. And so every time I go to the range, it's like a job. You know, I still enjoy shooting the guns, but I never get to go to the range anymore just for the pure enjoyment of going shooting. And I might need to make some time for me to do that, you know, um, so who knows. But that just kind of sucks because I can't always enjoy it. And it's the same thing with having these awesome guns around the house. Sometimes I just want to pull them out of the safe, bring them out here to the garage, take them apart, clean them, look at them, handle them and admire them. But I can't because I literally have to be out here filming content or after working 12 hours, I'm just exhausted. And I have to go in and do paperwork for my job, you know, invoicing and, you know, all that other stuff, you know. So I just don't have time. And so I, I never really get to enjoy my collection. And I never really get to enjoy going to the range because I always got to be doing something. And it's kind of worn on me a little bit, you know. So I have to figure out a way to balance that. Maybe just go to the range and enjoy it. But not take a, take a camera. Uh, kind of see if I can balance that, you know. But anyway, just wanted to share that story with you and my thoughts and see what you guys think. Um, I guess i got to clean up out here, go inside and edit and uh, get this video uploaded. Probably for like a Wednesday release, I guess. So we'll see. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you always being here. And I'll tell you what. Because you guys are my biggest fans. I'm always curious who stays to watch to the end. Because it means so much to me. If you have stayed to this point in the video. I don't know. I'm holding a magazine here. Use the word magazine in your, in your uh, comment if possible. That would be really cool if you do that. I was just curious how many people would say something about it. And I know you saw it to the end. So thanks guys for always being there. Being my best fans. And the people that support my channel and my project here at the Texas Gun Vault means the world to me. So, as always, let's go Brandon, and thanks for watching.